Baldwin Burgess, thank you for joining us here at Fun Forum International. Fascinating conversations happening here today, specifically about the asset management world having to embrace change. Is, is this going to happen? Are they going to do it? They have no choice. You know, they're going to be pushed into it whether they like it or not. Uh, th there's a reality that I think finance hasn't fully grasped yet, and that is the fact that today we have 3 billion people online. That number is going to double in four and a half years. That, that's enormous. And why is it going to double? Because some other industries uh, have seen the potential. So uh, they figured out, like, if we give everybody broadband access, there's a few projects like that. They're going to be like these, um, you know, basically balloon stratospheric based Wi-Fi stations. Uh, Facebook wants to give everybody broadband. Google wants to give everybody broadband. Uh, why shouldn't finance not think like this? Why should finance not try to get into people's uh, portfolios? Why should finance not acknowledge the fact that these people are going to be online sooner than later? This isn't something that has been embraced in the past. They have been quite slow to accept that. Absolutely. I, I think there's this. Uh, I, I think finance uh, is is being dragged into this a little bit, kicking and screaming. I think they're holding on to a lot of things, uh, sort of like uh, trying to hold on to the status quo. Uh, regulation is obviously the first thing that comes up, but frankly, uh, you know, regulations are made to to keep a lot of people out of trouble. Uh, uh, frankly, I think if if you really look closely at the regulations, uh, if you behave in accordance with the regulations, there should be no reason for them to try to try expand through technology following the regulations. Obviously, you can't make financial promotions, so don't. But do build a relationship with all these millions and billions of people out there. Now, crowdfunding is this phrase that people have heard, but it is something that's becoming bigger and bigger. Right. What's your sort of point of view of that and how that's progressing? Uh, crowdfunding is very real. Uh, it's, uh, there's legislation backing it in the US. Some other countries have it. My country, Belgium, has it now. All of a sudden, they have a, they have a good draft. I think it's actually become law. I'm not quite sure about it, but what you're seeing is that this is a reality. Uh, apart from crowdfunding, another important reality is peer-to-peer -peer lending. And that's even more important because often, um, for, for an entrepreneur to get somebody on their cap table and as an investor, that's kind of complicated. But what they are used to is going to a bank and asking for a loan or from a family member. Well, peer-to-peer -peer lending uh, in the low interest rate environment is extremely interesting for the uh, lender because now we can diversify a portfolio, get a higher interest rate, and while they're doing it, help some entrepreneurs out. Well, that's really it, because that aspect's interesting, because yeah. there's, there's a lot of talk about this generation being more socially aware, more ethical in their investment. That's a key theme, too. Oh, yeah. It is. I, I mean, you, you have that. I think that's, there's a new generation. They sort of grew up seeing that finance was pretty much in trouble. Uh, they, there's, a, there's obviously millions and millions of people in uh, what we call the emerging markets. Uh, they, I think they also have a more social uh, attitude towards life, because, you know, they, they live in places where the community is more important. So I think they're, um, I have a feeling like the new generations, they, they're not as capitalistic as, uh, as we may believe they are. I think we have to tap into another wavelength, which is that of, uh, of basically creating a more sustainable world. So what do you expect to see happen in the next year and five years? Are the asset management world going to embrace this properly and, and really believe it's happening? Well, yeah, we'll see. I think, uh, well, for, I think what we have in the five years, there's still a, an amount of business to be done on the institutional level. There's still pension funds. Uh, there's still all those kind of things. Uh, what come, but when it comes to personal and private finance, I, I really don't know how fast it's going to evolve. I, I would assume that a lot of the, uh, the, the new generation, uh, so these are millennials, or you know, frankly, there's a, there's a guy here at Fund Forum, Seb Dove, you should speak to him later, who actually proves that the higher the net worth of the investor, the more time they spend online researching investments. So I think what we're going to have is that the private investment scene uh, is demanding change. And we may, we may see a few new players. My personal opinion is that I think we're going to see uh, Facebook and Google and, and, and Alibaba get a lot more involved in finance than the traditional finance uh, players. So uh, the traditional finance players are probably going to have somebody come and steal their cheese. A lot of conversations happening here. Is Fund Forum International a unique opportunity for those conversations? I think so. I mean, we, we, the, we get the ears of the largest institutions. And uh, myself and a few other people, we just keep uh, getting on our soapbox and uh, keep telling them about it. And uh, I, I guess they know, but you know, obviously they're large organizations. Uh, for them, change is, uh, is often challenging. But I think they get it. You know, I really, I really do think they're getting the fact that they're going to have to uh, um, really rethink their business model and how they can, again, make that direct connection with the private investor.
the walls are down, so there's room for a direct connection. They should learn how to do it. And the enthusiasm from those people that you had to contribute to your presentation is fairly contagious, isn't it, in that sense as well? Oh, yeah. I, I speak to people like that all day long. And you know, it's, it's right. And there's, there's thousands of them. There will be millions of them. And, and you know, just I mean, if you really enjoy what you do all day long, just get online and talk to those people. They're, they're, they're very inspiring. Uh, and I think they own the future. Baldwin, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.